Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And so today we are doing another video on my Unibody MacBook 2010. <laughs> of course. So let's just get straight into it by just moving the MacBook over. Getting our camera set up. Alright, now that we have our camera set up, we can just start working on the laptop. By getting our Phillips head screwdriver bit. <clears throat> oh no, an iPad toolkit. And so, starting with now, we can just start unscrewing the screws, which is a very, very simple process. No, just unscrew 10 screws and then you're done. <clears throat> Super, super easy. <clears throat> and today, in today's video, I will be showing you how to remove the trackpad. I forgot to put that in the video at the beginning. But it should be fine, so... Let's just continue unscrewing these screws. I'm trying to unscrew them as fast as possible. Oh, that sounds painful. Oh yeah, I did scratch. Scratch it. That. Okay, now with that screw unscrewed, we can unscrew the last screw before we can remove the bottom panel. And now that we have the bottom panel removed, we can just take off the bottom panel. Okay, now that we have the insides of our computer, we are inside our computer, we can just get a little pry tool in just to remove that that disconnect that battery and then we can get our trialing I've been calling it Horix which was very wrong but this is our trialing screws And there we go, there's our battery. Okay, there we go. We have removed the battery and there's the trackpad, but first things first, move this 250 gig SSD. And then we will start unplugging connectors from the logic board well, because it, that makes things a lot easier because, well, yeah, the first time I did it, I could have broken the cable, so just disconnecting the connectors. And we are going to get a pair of tweezers so that we can pry those that keyboard cable out. Okay, if I can. All right, now that we have that cable disconnected, we can disconnect the backlight cable for the keyboard. Next, we are going to disconnect the other cables for the speaker display backlight and the other display thing. And then next, we are going to disconnect the battery indicator. Now, we are going to unscrew the 
Torx, the three Torx screws that are holding in the fan assembled. Or just holding in the fan. Wrong bit. Okay, removing those screws, we can remove the fan. All right, with those screws removed, we can remove our fan. Here we go. You can see there is the fan. All right, now next is to remove this little mounting point over there to hold in the bottom panel. And next is to remove all of the Torx uh, screws that are holding in the logic board. So let's just get straight into it by removing the screws. Now I'm going to start off with the three uh, bottom, three screws on the bottom here. Okay, with that screw removed, we can just remove the next screw. Pretty easy. All right, next is the screw right there. As you can see, I'm going to just unscrew the screw over there. And then now there are two more screws up here that we are going to remove. This and this. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, now that we have that screw removed, we can remove this screw. Now there's one more screw right there in the middle of the logic board and we are going to remove it. All right, now with those two, now with those, that screw out, we can just remove, screw out, remove the two screws holding in the MagSafe port. And I love the MagSafe connect. Also leave a comment below if you like the MagSafe charger because I do. I own a MacBook currently that has MagSafe and it's amazing. Okay, now with those screws out, you can just slowly lift, a, lift out the logic board, getting all those connectors out of the way. Like I did. We need to screw out one more thing. And just do this on that display thingy. can finally remove our logic board. All right, now with the, our logic board removed, we can finally safely remove the trackpad. So if you're wondering why there's a screw missing, the threads were stripped. So yeah, I can't put that back, but the trackpad still click, it clicks much better now for some reason, which is great. 
So let's just get straight into just removing these screws for the trackpad. And also stay tuned for next week's fun video that it's that's coming up. Now we are going to remove two screws over here for the trackpad. Alright, now that's removed, we can remove the other screws for it. All right, now with that side removed, you can see that it's quite wiggly. So we are going to, where's my screwdriver? Oh, right there. Now we are going to remove the other two screws holding in the trackpad. Oh, no, 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 no. We are just going to remove this one last screw for the trackpad. Alright, now with those screws removed, we can remove the one last screw. Well, not really a screw, but some sort of thing which helps the trackpad click. And just get the right fit and unscrew that. Look at that trackpad. Oh. It's about to fall out there we go there's that little shield thing and then now we can just slide the trackpad out feeding the wire through the little thing that they put there all right there is the trackpad There's the trackpad. Come on camera, focus. There's the trackpad. And if you're wondering how these trackpad trackpads click on these older unibodies, there's a button over here that when you press it like presses this with where this like metal button is type of thingy and then this thing hits against that little flat button thingy and then it clicks the trackpad so that's how the trackpad works and so now we are going to put the trackpad back and yeah putting the trackpad back is a very simple process you just slide it back in oh yeah you have to feed the wire through the little hole if you can see it but there is like a tiny little hole for it and then you have to like put it like that and then there we go now first things first we are going to screw this little button back in All right, that should be good. And now let's just get our Phillips 
it back on and screw those screws back on. Okay, first. Okay, now that we have that back on, we can just get our first screw, screw it into the middle chassis of the MacBook. Go in. All right, let's just get it in the hole. Come on. All right, we got it in the hole. There we go. We are just going to screw the next one back in with this bracket over there. All right, now that we have those screws screwed in, we can just screw in our outer screws that actually screw into the trackpad. Now next, this screw does not want to go in. This is why I shouldn't have carpet at my workspace. Right. All right, now that that screws in, we can just screw this other screw in. Okay, I have to unscrew this screw. All right, now that we have those screws in, we can just screw in these other outer screws. Down here seems a little loose. I screw that. Then screw that back in. Hmm. Should probably screw this screw more in.
No, that just isn't gonna click. Hmm. Seems pretty solid. All right, now that we have that screw in, we can put our Logica board back in. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is the Logic board. That heat sink. That RAM. And we are just going to slot that logic board in by first things first putting the MagSafe connector at the back there and then doing the microphone and then just sliding it in like that and then we are going to move the cables out of the way so that we can put this logic board in now it's sitting nice and flush sitting nicely we can just put back all of the cables that we disconnected earlier and man it's been 21 minutes already gotta finish this video fast all right now we are going to connect all the cables for the logic board. Oh yeah, also this retaining screw thing. We have to reconnect. Okay, there we go. Now we can put that bit back in and start reconnecting all of the cables. All right, now we are just going to screw one of the screws back in to the MacBook. Okay. Reconnecting the speakers, we can put our fan back in and connect that too. We're also going to screw back the screws for the MagSafe port. Got a do this faster. Just screw them back in. It's gonna do this fast. Sometimes this thing is hard to get in on camera. All right, now we are going to screw that that part back in and continue screwing our logic board back in. Okay, now that we have those screws screwed back in, we can just screw this screw over here back in. Let's screw this screw back in. Now we are going to screw this screw back in 
and then we're done screwing in the logic board so we can now reconnect that SATA connection for the SSD. There we go. And then put that battery back in. Plug it in and just put some of these bits away. And we can now screw, oh wait, we, I forgot to screw the fan in. Always screw your fan in. Got 25 minutes, gonna get this done fast. Okay, now that we have our fans screwed in, we can just screw in our torque screws for the battery. Now we can just put our other torque screw in, screw that in too. And then the f and then finally we can put our bottom panel back in. Now it's time to screw back the bottom case screws. Alright, now that we have those screws in, we can just quickly test out the computer and see if it works. Alright, slight issue. Just unscrew these screws quickly. Okay, why is it not turning on? Just plug that back in. All right, that should be good. Just screw in two screws. Uh, but I have to end the video right here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video of how to remove the trackpad from a MacBook and. I really appreciate all the views and likes that you viewers have been giving me. And yeah, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications if you enjoyed watching my videos on this channel. And I'll see you guys next time.